Hey everybody, Michael from Fudo here. Uh, the image team has just announced a new way to support the ongoing development of the project. So if you don't know what image is, it is a FOSS solution for self-hosted video and photo management with search, tagging, image recognition, uh, in comparison to other similar projects. Image has no ads, no tracking, and does not sell users' data. One of the core goals of Fudo is to give software projects the ability to become financially stable without compromising on quality or their values. We want to ensure that projects have a strong foundation to become fully sustainable without forcing people to pay or limiting anyone who doesn't. To that end, we have rolled out a new way to support the project by paying a one-time fee, either per server or per individual, depending on your usage. Not supporting the project is also totally valid, and we guarantee that the people who self-host the software will always have the same experience, whether they pay for it or not. There will never be any restrictions placed on people who don't pay for the software. The supporter cost for an individual license key is $25, and the cost for a whole server license key is around $100. These funds go toward the continued development of the project. Thus far, there's been a huge outpouring of support and love from the community for Image, and we are extremely happy to be able to support them on their pathway to sustainability. So to be clear, Neither of these options adds anything to the program. It is just a way to support image. There may be a little supporter badge in the corner uh, for people who pay for a license, but that is about it. There is no differentiation between the paid and unpaid versions of the software. There have been a lot of questions and feedback related to Fudo's involvement in the project, and we have addressed this at length in our Q&A video but we felt that it might be good to revisit some of these points here. First, projects incubated in-house at Fudo are very autonomous in terms of how they run their projects. We have a set of principles that we will link below, which we ask that projects do not violate, but beyond that, project maintainers have free reign over how they run their projects. Fudo is not a traditional tech company. And what we are doing is a kind of weird experiment. So we fully understand people's concerns related to rug pulls and other issues that come up in normal tech companies. Our entire reason for existing is to not be that and to try and change the way that software is developed and funded to push back at this kind of cold commercialization that is now the norm. It's honestly a little disheartening for us to hear this type of feedback when we are trying so hard to resist against this kind of monetization model that a lot of companies are pushing. With Image in particular, it is not even possible for a rug pull to occur because of the way that the software is licensed. Image is an AGPL code base, and all versions of Image, whether they're paid or unpaid, are licensed under the AGPL. This means that users have the right to use, modify, and distribute the software under terms of the AGPL including obligations to provide source code and maintain the same licensing terms in all derivative software. So we've experimented with other license structures that are not OSI approved. But with Image, this is not the case. The AGPL enshrines the fact that Image can't be taken away or restricted in the future by either us or anyone else. So even if the commercial terms change, the AGPL version of the software will always be available and free from any new restrictions. The AGPL provides an effective safeguard against any future misuse as far as we are aware. There is nothing restricting the developers of the project. Their employment contract does not have any provisions that prevent them from severing ties with us and forking the project. So there have also been some questions brought up about how this is essentially just a donation. Why not just call it a donation? We don't want FOSS projects to be run on a charity model. I cannot stress this enough. We think that this is ineffective, and we want to encourage users, if they can, to treat Image as they would any other piece of software that they would pay for. What we're trying to do can be thought of essentially as a revival of the old school shareware model, but with free software. So this kind of monetization has largely died out, 
and we understand that many people aren't used to it or when they hear the term shareware they think of things like WinRAR uh, that constantly nag you to purchase the software. Unlike older forms of shareware, our software is not proprietary and we will never implement any nagging features for people that don't purchase a key. So we think that people should pay for good software and we want to change the culture on this so that more users support the development of FOSS projects financially. We think that more FOSS developers should also feel obligated to create software that is worth paying for, and they should do so without violating the rights of their user bases or restricting non-paying users. Another topic that has come up regarding Image's announcement is trust, and the question of trust has been brought up across various feedback that we've received. So optimally, the projects that we incubate should be set up in such a way that you shouldn't have to trust us at all in the first place. We feel like we've done a pretty good job of this so far, but maybe need to be a bit better at communicating it. So you should trust the policies, procedures, and contracts that we put in place to make sure these projects stay true to the values that we've laid out over and over again. That said, I feel like Fudo's actions over the last several years largely speak for themselves. We're not just another tech company, and I believe all our actions thus far clearly showcase that. I don't want to ask people to trust us, but I don't know what indication we have ever given that you shouldn't. We're very open to feedback, but a lot of things fall into hypotheticals and what-if questions. I, I know these are generally asked, in good faith, and so we try our best to respond to everyone's concerns, but it's very time consuming for us to respond to things that like, for one, we aren't doing, and two, we probably could not do even if we wanted to, and finally, points that go against all the ethical groundwork that we've taken great pains to structure our organization to prevent. We're trying to build out a new model for open source software and ethical business practices that can become a sustainable income source for developers. We're building out a privacy respecting ecosystem with real alternatives to exploitative cloud services. At the end of the day, what we want most is to make sure that you're all happy using Image. So please continue letting us know what you all think as we hone in on a solution that works for everyone. And we wanna thank you all again for your support and feedback.